Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Wildman West. And I'm Hefe. And welcome to our added bonus of What's Your Poison's 24 Beers of Christmas, apart from the Advent Beer Calendar that we got from Lodi Tap House and Obscurity Brewing. We also have, once again, the four-pack of Island of Misfit Beers from Obscurity Brewing. Let me just say, I did not know they were going to do four different beers this year. Nor did Last I. year, they came out with the Misfit Pack of Beers, and it was... Uh, Rudolph, Santa, Cornelius, and Her Hector, uh, Her 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 Hermie. Hermie. Hermes. Yeah, Hermie. And uh, basically, I thought that that's probably what they were going to do. But uh, uh, talking to some people from the brewery, they decided they wanted to go a different direction. But wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. So we were surprised, first off, when knowing that they came out with these four beers, that the first beer in the Lodi Tap House was going to be a obscurity beer. Then I find out there's an, even another New England IPA Christmas beer that has a sticker of Santa that you can peel off and it's really adorable. That I can't believe that they came up with so many Christmas beers. But you have two red ales and two stouts. Very different from last year. It was, for last year it was four Belgian style yeah. ales, which I loved, don't get me wrong. Uh, three like, of the four were good. Then yeah. Santa was Santa was naughty. I yeah, he was that. naughty. Yeah, I think that was. The I one. Went, that's the first time I went on my high horse. I think that was the maple bacon one, right? That one. It was no, the, no, no. That was the mint and oh, chocolate. peppermint. That's right. Yeah, it was, yeah, like, it was the peppermint, peppermint one. That was not good. Um, that, that we were sad, but uh, I'm very excited about these. Uh, we're gonna get into each beer individually as we go through it. Ready? I sure am. Let's get started. So first, we have Clarice. Clarice, of course, was Rudolph's little girly friend. Ooh. Um, this is a red ale with hazelnut. So I'm very excited about that. Only five ABV. That's she was bad. the OG Clarice. OG Clarice, right? Um, I don't know if it's spelled the same. It's no, it's not spelled the same, the but... But so. yes. All right. So very excited. Let's get into this. Red ale with hazelnut. So it's probably going to be soft on the hazelnut, but who knows? Ooh. Very heavy on the head, that's for sure. Yeah, it's good. Good head. Oh. Yeah. oh, very nice. Very nice. Ooh. The hazelnut is very... I mean, I smell it at least. Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it's a nice hint right there. A little, little sweetness in there, softness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, I'm getting a lot of the... Uh, the sweetness of the red ale. So. Yeah, definitely malty. Jingle. All right, jingle jingle. Ooh. It's a bit nutty. Yeah, but I don't think I like that. You don't like that? I don't think I like that. Okay. I'm getting like a cock syrup aftertaste. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, Sorry. I was gonna say, um, I was gonna say, normally with like a hazelnut, um, even just your traditional hazelnut, um, the aftertaste is gonna be a little bit acrid. It's gonna, you're, you're gonna have that kind of, it's gonna linger. Yeah, but it tastes medicinal. Really? I don't like it. Is it really? I don't like it. Okay, what are you gonna give it? Naughty. It's like, like bad naughty. Yeah, bad naughty for sure. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not. I'm not enjoying. I don't want to drink the rest of that. Okay. Ugh. Well, I'll drink it then. Okay. What yeah. are you giving it? I'm gonna give it. Um. Okay. You know what? Okay. I'm gonna give it a noise. Noise. Why? I mean, the reason why is the hazelnut is a little like I said, y'all. Um. A little acrid. It's it's you know kind of lingering on the on the on the taste buds a little bit. However, the hardiness of it. If this was like I was going to have like one beer for the day, this would be it. But I mean, like if this was the only thing left, I mean, <laughs> that was the only thing left. Like <laughs> worst case scenario in the fridge. I mean, this is not what I would go to. This would not be my first choice. Okay. But if it was between this or. Mmm. Not product placement right here, and don't hate me. Uh, Budweiser. I would, I, would, I, would, I would drink this before Budweiser. I don't know, man. It's, I'm not enjoying so, this. So, but anyways. That's, that's you, bro. Oh, okay. you. If this was okay. the last thing in my fridge, I'd give it to you. 
All right, fair, <laughs> hey, fair enough, man. Oh, hey, you know what? I have no objections. Well, last year when we had our... Oh. You started it. Yeah. We had our Island of Misfit Beers. We basically talked about what each character meant. Now, with these other characters, the you know, the secondary characters, we didn't really do our homework on this one. Not, well, it's not that we didn't do our homework. It's that we decided we wanted to do something different. Just like Obscurity yeah. did, we thought we'd do something different. And so, I would say you'd have to because these characters don't really hold like a... Uh, necessarily a place in anyone's heart. I mean, come on. Who would ever heard of a Charlie in the box? It's just a matter of... Okay, yeah. So, we wanted to change it up. So, what did we want to change it up? Well, we thought we'd... Um, during each beer, one of us would ask a question. Sure. Like, like something just random. Mm -hmm. Just something about Christmas or the holiday spirits. Absolutely. So, um, actually, uh, I'll start it off. What was one of your favorite Christmas presents that you got? One of my favorite Christmas presents like as a that kid. I got as, a, as kid. a kid. Oh man, that's an easy one. Uh, when I was a kid, one of my favorite movies to ever come out was Batman Forever. And all I wanted was the Batman Forever Batcave. And that thing had three levels. It was like this tall, this tall, and then the base level where you had your Batmobile. Which, of course, I had the Batmobile too. Thanks, Mom. And... <laughs> And the Batwing that went up on the top. Anyway, so this had three levels and there were staircases going to each part, but each part had different, um, like just a different thing that was attached to it. There was like an elevator involved, there was a spiral uh, thing for the Batmobile to spin around. Um, it basically just, it was so much fun just building this together. And then, of course, it was also, it doubled as a toy storage because you lift up the lid and you can put your toys in it. Um, so I loved this thing to death. I played with it all the time, and it is still in my family today. Uh, my nephew Oliver was, nice. found it while my parents were moving. It was up in their attic, and he was like, You cut this for me? And she's like, I did now. So then they were telling him, like, this was Uncle Jeff's. And he just loves the fact that it was Uncle Jeff, so he plays with it all the time. So I just absolutely love that. It stayed in the family, and it was something that... You know, a lot of people say, like, a lot Please of Please tell me you play with him with that I, when you see him. My, well, I haven't seen him since oh. we found it. So oh, I, I'm sorry. No, 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 no it's fine. You know that, you know, when you do see him... Oh, of course, that, you're, yeah. you're gonna... Absolutely I will. Yeah, no, he's got a whole bunch of my old action figures and everything. So, uh, Be the Riddler when you play. Absolutely. I have the Jim Carrey Riddler. That nice. That with the, the Batman Forever set. Uh, so, anyway... Uh, that was my favorite gift, and the fact that, you know, back when you're a kid and you become an adult and everyone's like, hey, like, those toys are just a waste of time, you know, like, it's never going to mean anything. Well, it means something when you see the next generation playing with it. And now that you mention that, I'm glad you did, because my one of my favorites is very similar to that, too. Um, I believe it was Christmas uh, 1990, 1991. I got the Ultimate Warrior WWF Wrestling Buddy, those big plush yeah, yeah, figures. Yeah. And I remember I used to body slam that all the time as a kid, just because I saw the commercials, it was fun. And my nephew Isaiah, when he was a baby, one of the things that I, you know, passed down, I've got pictures somewhere of him where he's in a crib and just like, um, well, not, yeah, he's, well, there's one picture that he's wearing a tap out onesie that I got. <laughs> And I've got pictures of him wrestling the Ultimate Warrior, and I'm being the referee, like, you know, doing, yeah. the, doing the three count and everything. So, yeah, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Yeah. That is, just, it's fun passing that stuff down. Right. Anyway, All right. Well, while I'm finishing off this red ale with hazelnut that Hefe does not like, God. we're going to move on to the second round. All right, on to beer number two with the Island of Misfit beers this year. We have a Charlie in the box. Charlie in the Box is a red ale made with cherry, maple, and cinnamon. So let's hope that this is kind of the equivalent of that. Remember that, that maple bacon, the one that we had? Ah, hopefully, hopefully this will be very reminiscent of the Yukon Cornelius that we had last year. Ah, yes, that was pretty good. That maple was just so tasty in that one. Maple, cherry, cinnamon, huh? It tasted like a lumberjack's breakfast. All right, here we go. Charlie in the box. Nice dark red. That's an amber color. That's what they're going for. Hmm. Smells sweetness. It smells like Apple Jacks. It smells a little like Apple Jacks, yeah. 
That's a good sign. You like you. Cheers. That one's a lot better. That tastes Ooh. like apple chips. And that maple cinnamon. I'm not really getting a lot of the cherry, but I guess there's just some of that fruit sweetness in there. That might but be that. Maple and cinnamon is really where it's coming out. That might be that uh, that tang at the end. Yeah. On the tip of the tongue, where you're just like um, the acidity, mm. not the tartness, the acidity. <laughs> a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I give that one a good one. Uh, I'd give that, yeah, I'll give it a nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say nice. nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, All right, so, I guess you? my question to you okay. is, what is on your Christmas list now? <sighs> you know, this is tough. I, I might get real on this one. Uh-oh. No, 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 it's just... Uh -oh. Feelings. Not really feelings. It's just uh, all right. Showing my age here. I'm, I'm, I'm less than five years short of forty here. Yep. There you yeah, go, folks. Wow. Now you know how old old Wild Man is. I. There's not much that I want. You know, what I mean, like the things I need. You know, like you know, I mean, for personally, like on a Christmas wish list. You know, like oh man, I. Yeah, I can need a little bit more money. I can need a little bit. I I can need my car to work a little bit better. You know, that's materialistic, so to speak. That's that's what Christmas is all about. Well, it's the spirit too. I mean, for <laughs> me, it's honestly my big Christmas wish. It's just for people to get the fuck along. Like literally, I just world peace, guys. Well, not just not just not just world peace. It's just. I understand. I mean, look, we're going to get real, and I know YouTube might flag this episode now because of specific things we're going to talk about. Um, yeah, we went through a pandemic the last almost two years now with a lot of, you know, a lot of craziness going on. And people are just getting on each other's cases. Folks, you know, just get along. I mean, Hefe and I don't always agree on everything. There have been times where we've been at each other's throats on some things, but you know what? He ain't heavy. He's my brother. And that's all that matters. Just, you know, agree to disagree sometimes and just move on. Isn't that what Christmas is all about? Just move on. New that things. Christmas beginning. Is about moving on? Oh, new beginnings? New beginnings. Okay. New beginnings. Yeah. I that's what that. I think. Yeah. All right. What cool. would you like for Christmas? I would like my next level Cicerone. <laughs> my, I, I, world peace is never going to happen. I mean, people have well, been fighting since before there was written. Well, no, it's not world peace. It's just people just to kind of say, you know what? Bury the hatchet, just not right in their fucking I, I deal in customer service. It's literally impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can say that through the pandemic that I've met more people uh, that are kind than not because of the pandemic. Uh, <laughs> preaching kindness has been, uh, I think, working since the pandemic started, and I feel like it just kind of put a lot of people, a kibosh on a lot of people's uh, privilege. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, I want the next level Cicerone. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, this upcoming year, and we could talk about New Year's resolutions or whatever, but like, basically, uh, I just, I want to, um, I want my next level Cicerone because I want to be taken more seriously in the field that I have a career in, mm. and I want to be able to judge beer competitions and stuff, so that'd be Yay. a lot of fun. I and can't I would do it now, but that'd be so see cool. You do that. That'd be fun, right? I would love to see you be a referee for Beer Fest. Ah, fun. Beer Fest. Do it with the whole, you know, German-Dutch accent. Un! U-S-A! <laughs> I'm wearing the top hat. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Oh, well, while we finish these, we're going to move on to beer number three. So, for our third beer, we have Spotted Elephant. It is an oatmeal stout with vanilla and holiday cheer. They all have holiday cheer. What exactly is holiday cheer? We don't know, but you know what? Maybe it comes in the heart when we feel the alcohol in our systems. Are you calling them cannibals? No. I'm calling oh. them booze hounds. Ah, okay. All right, well... So, stop with vanilla, stop with vanilla. <laughs> and uh, what's the ABV on this? What is it? It says. Um, we didn't even look at the. Actually, we have the cans. No, yeah, these. This one I said the ABV. 
That one was five percent. Five percent. This one was five percent. This one is seven. Okay. So, all right. Dirk. Give me a little. Yeah. Dirk. Which one is going to be the champion of Christmas? I am champion Christmas. To so all of our right it's July. Uh, much props to our friends over at Team Four Star. We miss you. Do more, please. Should Sweetness, I... I smell the roastiness. Yeah. Definitely roasty. Like, I mean, um, stuff have a lot of roasty character in general, but... I'm trying to get the vanilla. Um, maybe There's a little bit of sweetness, but it's mostly roasty. All right, well, jingle, jingle. jangle. jangle. Definitely more roasty. Wow, mm -hmm. that's coffee-like, very coffee. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting because that one's an oatmeal step. That's probably why. A little oaty, but it, I'm definitely getting that, those burnt notes to it. And yeah. it might be the last one we had. Might have. I don't know. I, I feel like the, the flavors are very different, but like the roasted malt and the stout. They do give off those yeah. flavors naturally, but I'm not getting any vanilla whatsoever. Maybe a little bit, but not nothing that where I'd be able to blind test that. I'm, I'm getting kind of a iced vanilla coffee flavor. Okay, yeah, I can kind of see that. Like the like the like the, the oh. like the vanilla Starbucks you get at the gas station in the bottle, you know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Interesting. This oh. one, I'm gonna give a an eighty. Being kind of naughty, maybe nice, nice, nice. Yeah, maybe it's like way. it tastes good, uh, but the flavor profiles that are on the can, I'm not really getting. It's that it's that kind of I like it, but it's a little deceptive. I agree with that nighty. I agree with the nighty. Like it's a little deceptive. It definitely is more roasty, toasty than uh, I expected, especially when it says it's vanilla. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So I agree. Huh. Which is rather ironic on this one because last year on the third beer, we had a meh together on that one. We had a unanimous on that one. I feel like, and I still feel like that the first one was my least favorite so far. Well, understood. All, All right. right. Well, now it's time for me to ask you a question. Yes, yes, um, uh, now. There's one story that I have on this one, but I figure maybe you might get think of something. Uh, whether it was Christmas or throughout the holidays or during you know during the Christmas season and even after Christmas, if there's a funny moment, like a funny story that you have, whether it's with family or as you got older with your sure. friends, is there one that you can think of that just kind of comes to mind where you either you just kind of laughed going that was hilarious, or you sat there like scratching your head going what the hell. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got. I, I have a good, a good story for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so every year, my family does um, what's called uh, piracy or white elephant. Uh, piracy mm -hmm. just has it's very strict time limit and lots of dice rolling and it's a fun time. Uh, but we have a large family, so I'm, I'm the oldest of uh, seven technically, and we all have a significant others. So it's a large group of people, and we all have. Uh, a gift that's at random that most people, you know, we put a very, very similar, if you don't know what white elephant, is, white elephant is, is you get a gift that could basically go to anybody um, when you play in different rounds. And in these different rounds, there's different things that happen when you roll a certain number on dice and then eventually the gifts are exposed and sometimes you get through a game where some of the gifts are not exposed. Well, one of those gifts... <laughs> was something that my grandmother uh, sent in one year. She couldn't come to this cabin at this time, um, but she had sent some gifts over, and she always liked to send extra to make sure everybody got a gift, right? Oh, nice. Well, uh, there was this mystery gift that everyone was fighting over. Basically, you roll a six, steal a gift. Everybody wanted this gift. Oh, I'm going to get this gift. Everybody was, oh, I'm going to get this gift, right? And then at the end of the time limit, then it was, okay, time's up. Now you can roll another one, and then someone finally rolls, open your gift. Say, okay, 
So they opened this gift, and what is this thing everyone's been fighting over? Just literally because of the size. It was a big box like this. And it was in like a half box from like Aldi, but inside had nothing to do with what the box was. It was like some geisha wine holder. <laughs> and it was like, what is this thing? So after everyone knew what it was, then everyone's fighting over it still because of how ridiculous this gift was. In the best way possible. Now, it gets brought back to every Christmas in the white elephant. No one knows what it's going to be, and they put it in a different box, and it always goes for family. So the nice running joke. Yes. It's, it's, it's kind of like, so, like playing old maid. It's like, you know, you pull yeah, the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, so nice. that is the new running joke in our family, is this geisha wine. <laughs> uh, not wine, I'm sorry, it was sake. It had a bottle oh. of sake. Uh, I don't know if that sake is still with it, or if it got drank, or if it left off or what. Either way, it's like the statue of this geisha. And we were just so cracking up that Grandma threw that in there. So, awesome. go Grandma. <laughs> Alright, so, for my story, um, this one has been passed around. It's talked about every year in my From family. generation to generation. Generation to generation at the Wesselman household. No, um, I believe it was either Christmas 88 or 89. We're unwrapping our gifts and everything. And at one point my brother is just kind of downtrodden. Just, he opens his last present and it's Mousetrap. If anybody remembers that old board game, Go you. Absolutely. Mouse well, is great. It still sells today. Yeah. Anyways, he uh, looks kind of sad, and one of my uncles takes him aside and goes, you know, Eric, what's the matter? You know, you're all right? He goes, I got mouse trap this year. I really wanted a Nintendo. And my uncle says, well, you know, obviously, you, know, you were a good boy this year, right? You know, Santa maybe must have missed you. And he goes, oh, I was a good boy. It's just that you know who couldn't afford it. And everybody lost their damn mind laughing. But it turns out the Nintendo was behind, around the, the couch. You know, just, they just wanted to mess with him just a little bit. What a jerk! It was funny though because. Spoiled brat! No, he was a spoiled brat. It was the simple fact that he had to say, you know who couldn't afford it. <laughs> and it was just kind of like. I mean, even at that point at four or five years old, it's not that I. I'm not gonna say it out loud. I'm not gonna say it. About Santa. <laughs> He's within all of us. You don't say that. No, you don't say it. You don't say it. Oh, no, but anyways, um, yeah, we got the Nintendo fine. It was just, it was just kind of funny that my brother had to expose the business. Yes. Before getting it, I mean, it was like he called the bluff, mm -hmm. and I was just like, wow, I guess that's how you do it nowadays. Well, we've talked about our uh, fun. WTF moments of Christmas. Yes. It's time to move on to our fourth and final beer of the Island of Misfit Beers. Final beer of the day. Island of Misfit Beers. This is Bumble! The Abominable Snowman. Bumble. The Abominable Snowman. Huh? Grandpa? I'm just, uh, 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 I'm just as hairy and just as dumb. Uh, so this is a coffee stout. So... It is made with coffee from Soul Loco. That is actually a coffee house in Maple Park that's pretty close by uh, Lonely Tap House. That's so pretty that's, awesome. Yeah. So that makes sense. Now, honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised because the other one tasted so coffee-like. I'm very curious to how this coffee one tastes. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be amazing because you all know, as you've seen in this calendar alone. Oh, yeah, when we've had so, the collaborations. Yeah, so many good coffee beers out there. So I'm very excited about this. I didn't look at the ABB. Hold on, what was it? Seven. Is it seven? Yes, it's seven. Very good, very good. Well, that is dark and very rich. Just by tongue by the head on this, yes. that is very rich. I have so much more head than you. Oh, that's coffee. Very, very coffee. Hey. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take off my mustache here. I was oh, going to say, did, 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 did it like Folgers? Your, your oh, cavity? yeah. Oh, man. That's awesome. Mm. Didn't we say this before? The best part of waking up is obscurity in your cup. 
The dogs outside are hearing us sing. I don't know uh, who. Uh, oh, this is. This smells. I mean, it smells really good. Uh, I'm very, very intrigued. Jingle jangle. Jingle jangle. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yet again, no, I'm, I'm going naughty. I'm going naughty. I'm going naughty. That's the best beer of the bunch. Absolutely. Best We're, beer of the bunch. Hey, when we agree or disagree, you're saying naughty in the best way. I'm saying nice in the best way. There you go. I'm saying you're getting that naughtiness. I'm getting that nice and stuff like that. Yes. I love this. This is... Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, mm. So, that is. Mm. Very much enjoy this beer. Uh, it's a great way, good nightcap. Uh, I wish, you know, I love a good coffee stout in general, but damn, this is really A really nightcap nice. without that caffeine? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, well, 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 yeah, you never know. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, got yeah, coffee well. in it, so. What do they tell us about mixing uppers with downers? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that, exactly. No, but, ah, oh, this is, out of all four of them, which, which one's your favorite? This one, easy, yes, absolutely. Bumbo! I would say it's, uh, I mean, this one, yeah. Yeah. A tie between Charlie, Charlie and Bumble. Charlie was good, um, Charlie was good, but this one's just really good. Yeah, I, I think it's no, really I mean, good. he's a close second. I feel like we did a good job this year and last year yeah. about saving the best for last without even tasting them. So that means something. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I very much enjoyed that. Mm. I yeah. think I think that it's one of those uh, it's one of those beers that you can put a different label on it and serve it year round and it would do just as well. Oh. It's not specifically Christmas. Um, can, can we just say like overall, all of these beers are not specifically Christmas? Can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. Okay. I, and I feel I, like I, that, I, that I could be the I, same. I, well, I mean, like, Clarice, Hazelnut is... Least favorite. That was my no, no, favorite. No, 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 I'm saying Hazelnut is kind of, it's kind of a traditional Christmas, you know. Sure. That, if that Christmas one, was a bad thing. Did not like it. Easy there, Hannibal Lecter. What? <laughs> Clarice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, Did not like it, Clarice. He'd rather have a Chianti. Chianti. Ah, would be. Anyway, so my question for this beer to the table is what was your least favorite beer out of this entire calendar? Can you remember? The one that tasted like tea. Oh, yes! Uh, there was that tea beer. Oh, God, who was that? was Art History. Art History, where that tasted like a weird, like, kind of a slight... There, there was that one, and <laughs> then... I'm trying to think of the... There wasn't a lot that I did... Well, there was literally uh, Jungle Boogie from Mars. That was one of my least favorites. Jungle Boogie was... All right. But it, it was, was, it was I mean, Rubius tea. Yeah, but... but, but I hate but, that beer in general. But, but, I, I, mean, but, I, but I mean, like... I, I, I gave it the, you know, I did the, how does Ron White say, all right, all right, all right, like, all right, I'll do it. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's how I felt afterwards. Uh, no, but, I mean, because I love art history, but that one was just, uh, it, it felt it like. It tastes I, like I see. <laughs> no, no, like well, it, it, see. it felt like I, I remember drinking, like, Twisted Tea years yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember saying that, yeah. And this was like, it was like drinking it flat. Like it, like somebody opened it and left it out for right. probably, pfft, Lord knows how fucking long. Right, yeah, it was, it was, it was not really carbonated. Um, I enjoyed the flavor of it, but I love iced tea and I love coffee, so. I just didn't get the, it's very floral. I'm gonna sound bougie about the boozy right here. Bougie about the boozy. About the Boozy. There was no booziness in that. No, not really. And that's why I had an issue with it. However, with something like this, I'm getting that that heavy boozy, but I'm also getting that coffee flavor profile. And huh. By the time I'm done with this, I'm about to go a wasseling. So, wasseling going a wasseling, everybody. 
Just so you know. Very good. Um, I'd have to say, first off, my least favorite beers of every beer in here that was not Christmassy at all! Oh. There is a few of those. Um, if it didn't involve Christmas, why was it in here? Why? Why was it in here? I want Christmas beers, guys. Hey, anyway. um, do, do we still have the... Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. You know what, you need to talk more about that, but we've got the, um, One Trick Pony can. Get the high horse up here. The One Trick Pony is going to be our symbol. This is, this is now our... Our high horse can. If you're gonna have a beer in an advent calendar, make it a Christmassy kind of beer. If I can get your beer all year round, well, that's not very Christmassy, is it? No, it's not. Do better. Row. Well. So yeah, besides that, my least favorite beer was definitely day number one. That obscurity was probably the only beer in this entire thing where I said I absolutely hated it. Uh, However... This, this one I did give a naughty yes, but probably in this pack, that other obscurity, that it was, I was not having it, it was gross, I was very upset. However, would you dare say that <sighs> these three made up for the two? I don't know, man. Uh, now, if you're gonna talk about, if you kind of talked about, if you're gonna talk about a brewery's average of good beers, yes, the good outweigh the bad from obscurity. I'm not dogging on them. I'm not dogging on them, but I will say they could have done better on that other one. And I haven't yet had their New England IPA Christmas beer, but I'm going to soon. Check out my TikTok, beer you beer me. Well, folks, we hope you have enjoyed everything that we've dealt with on the 24 Beers of Christmas, as well as the Island of Misfit Beers. I mean, it has been a very, very long and crazy sleigh ride from beer to beer. Make sure that you leave a thumbs up. Hey, if you got this four pack and you didn't agree with us, you can leave a thumbs down. We understand. He enjoys the last one, obviously. But make sure that you share on social media, and most importantly, it is still the season of giving. Make sure you push that little red button and ring the bell for instant notifications on Dragonfire Entertainment. Other than that, I mean, literally, we're going to be getting into 2022. It's true. We're going to hopefully get some movie reviews coming in, some video game stuff. I mean, video I, game. I finally got a better capture card for some stuff, and... Yeah, the sky's the limit on a lot of classic console stuff. Other than that, I'm Wild Man Wes. And I'm happy. And we'll see you soon on Dragonfire Entertainment. Here, you know what? Aw, thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you, everybody. I didn't get you anything. Me either.